All right, moment of truth. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah. Uh, two in a row. <laughs> All right. What the fuck was that, right? Uh, what we just watch. <laughs> you can tank all of phase one of Uber Lilith? Uh, yes, yes you can. And it really doesn't require a lot. Um, I was tanking so much of that damage that I feel like uh, you could do it with not a lot of gear. Uh, we're gonna go through the uh, points on my skill tree that I've taken um, that allow this to happen. And then the glyphs as well. Those are things that you can grind out at lower uh, levels and lower level content. You really don't need to be very good at this game to really get those going. Um, the gear is more of a grind. I have very good gear when it comes to damage reduction, um, but we'll go over that last. Uh, so let's get into the skill points. Um, right off the bat, you know, if we go up top right, search for damage reduction, uh, you'll see we're taking every single point of damage reduction on the skill tree. Uh, for our uh, basic skill, you have two choices here. Uh, we're going flay uh, because it gives you some vulnerable. Um, I am. I did not actually try to kill Uber Lilith with this build. I was just using her as a target dummy, uh, and we could tank the waves uh, as well as her one shot in like the third part of the first phase, which I'll show in a little bit. Um, Combat Flay gives you three percent damage reduction times four stacks, so up to twelve percent. We keep going down. Uh, we max out additional life. We max out on damage reduction against elites. Um, we have a bunch of plus ranks to Challenging Shout, uh, one on our amulet, one on our chest piece. Um, that might, you know, be a little tough to get these exact pieces, but not required. Um, we have Guttural Yell, which is another 12% if we hit Lilith before she flies. Pit Fighter, which is distant damage. I don't know how much that affects this fight. Um, and then another 6% from Defensive Stance. Um, so that is every single point of damage reduction on the tree. Just go ahead and take it, right? Easy. If we go to the Paragon board, um, we do have some armor, right? We go up the left side at the start, we get some armor here. Um, we have some max life, but armor doesn't matter nearly as much uh, against Lilith as it does in Nightmare Tier Dungeons. So if you want to take what I'm telling you today and apply it to a Nightmare Dungeon push, um, it works very well, but you can also then just get extra armor uh, to make yourself even more tanky. Uh, but what I want to highlight on the Paragon board actually is three specific glyphs. Um, the first being territorial, right? So there are three glyphs that give you damage reduction as their bonus. Territorial gives you 10% against close enemies. Uh, Ire gives you 10% while berserking. And Undaunted gives you 10% uh, the more fortify you have. Um, and the key part of this build is that we're keeping fortify up as much as possible uh, with Warbringer as well as with our helm enchant. Um, so if we pull up our gear, uh, I'm trying to think if I want to show it off. We will just show off the helm. So each point of fury generated while at max grants fortify. This in combination with Warbringer will keep fortify up. Uh, every piece of my uh, gear I think right now, we are trying to focus on damage reduction while fortified. Um, it is some of the highest uptime you can possibly get. Uh, and I don't think we have it on, we do have it on chest. So we have it on the three key pieces. Um, if we pull up our stat sheet, you can see how much damage reduction I have. Uh, we have 40, 54% uh, damage reduction wall fortified. That is almost the equivalent of a challenging shout. So we just always have that up basically in the, the Uber Lilith fight. Uh, in Nightmare Dungeons, it's a lot harder to keep it up. Um, but when you do have it, you can push really far. Uh, I just cleared in uh, tier 90 with this build yesterday. I think I could go to 100. Um, Nightmare Dungeons damage actually matters a lot more and I'm not optimized for that at all right now. Uh, if we look at uh, a few of the nodes that I've already talked about, so aggressive resistance, right? 9% damage reduction while berserking. Uh, and then Ire is a 10% damage reduction from elites while berserking. That means that whenever you use Warcry, uh, you're gonna get 19% damage reduction going. So it kind of becomes a, a, a smaller version of Challenging Shout. So in that fight, actually, you don't need to use both. You can tank Uber Lilith waves with one Challenging Shout or one Warcry. I will eventually do a build guide for this uh, current setup. It's a classic Hoda builds. Uh, all I did was I, I was testing to see how far I could push damage reduction in, in this game after having a discussion about how Nightmare Tier dungeons are too damage heavy. Um, and then I found out that they're not, and the game is probably balanced around you maxing out your damage reduction on your skill tree. 
Thanks for stopping by. If you want to Uber, you know, tank Uber Lilith, it's pretty straightforward. Just get the points on your tree, get the glyphs up to rank 15, uh, and then jump right in and just try to use your challenging shout in Warcry cooldowns uh, correctly. Uh, and you can pull off some crazy shit. Uh, hit me with a sub. Hit me with a like. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. All right, moment of truth. Can we uh, face tank the one shot? We're about to find out. No fucking way. All right, well, <laughs> that's crazy. Do it again. Can we face tank her? Yeah. Oh my god, this fight's just so much more consistent now.